Maybe double thumbnails are not super large from the uh, Spitzkopper deposits of Namibia, a topaz crystal beautifully formed. So first of all, let me take you to the base. This is non-crystalline. And then we're going to look at all the faces. So have a look. As I move it, you can see the crystal faces. Good luster to this guy. Uh, micro crystallization there and what's so amazing about topaz when you look into it it's similar to fluorite it's as if it slows down light the yellow inclusion inside this topaz would be some iron oxides trapped in there or technically speaking we could say hematoid topaz top termination over there so a flat top there you get the face running into that face micro crystals of topaz sitting on this one as well all the way from Namibia, of course, Spitzkopper deposit, pretty well known for topaz as you. From that deposit, you actually had blue ones, you had green ones, you had the so-called silver topaz, which were water, water clear. I think from a faceting point of view, I wouldn't facet a lovely specimen like this, but this may be a, a, a faceting grade. I don't think it's got cracks, maybe a little bit of internal cracks there. But sections like that are, are pretty clear. Maybe not. Slight inclusions, slight internal fractures. All the way from Namibia. Topaz. A topaz crystal. Fully terminated all the way around except of course for the base.